Okay, so if you're gonna do a print like this, that mm, I'm not quite sure what to use. You can take a stencil that's like this. This one's got birds on it. And then just grabbing a pencil, you can line up where you like it the best. Let's see, I've already drawn some of these on here. So, yeah, this one up here. Like so. And then just draw around the whole thing. And then just move it over the page. Wherever you like. Getting different textures. And you can see how you can get these really interesting textures under here just by having a stencil like that to move around all over your gel plate. And then cut these out and put them into your journal. Now if you're having problems seeing your lead pencil, because it's quite hard to see it on this kind of paper, you can use a Stabilo pencil. That one will make it much easier for you to see it on your jelly plates. Just be aware though that this is water soluble <clears throat> and so either cut these lines off or incorporate because this will um, blend with water on, on your picture. I'll show you that a bit later. Okay, so working out our colours. Nice colour scheme for this art journal page. We've got blue, we've got purple which is it's really more of violet you can see it's a tint of that color so if we just put this on our color wheel we can do a complementary color to our, say our blues and our violets we could do a yellow orange and that would really pop on that or we could keep we could do analogous we could do the, any of these colors around the blue violet and that would look good as well. Um, let's have a look. What's the triad of that? Blue violet would be yellow, green, and red orange. Hmm. I think that'd be a bit too busy, but well, well, let's go with the triad. Okay. So, really quick background. So, yellow, green. We'll use yellow, green as the basis. So. Let's use this Pebio yellow green. It's a translucent colour. We'll get it open and we'll just squirt some of that out like that. Grab a paintbrush and get that a spread around. Crisscrossing that across like that. Getting that on our page all the way. Now this page doesn't have any gesso on it, so anything I try and do now, uh, like we couldn't do reverse stenciling. I mean, I can give it a go, but because the paint's so wet, it might work. But generally, if you want to do reverse stenciling, you need to have gesso underneath. So just grabbing. One of our stencils, my texture stencil, and let's do some love hearts and see what happens. Yeah, because that's wet, it's coming off. But generally, if you want it to come off a lot easier, see it's not going right back to the white. If you had gesso underneath there, that would go right back to white. But we're still getting good texture from it. Get it open. And we're opening. 
bugger it, I'll just take the lid off. I'm just going to use a little bit of primary yellow. Okay, over my. <laughs> Of my stabilo pencil as well. Grab a sponge, grab our stencil again, and repeat that pattern. And this is transparent color, so you'll be able to see the color underneath it as well. So, just getting a bit of variety, we can. Some larger hearts as well to get variety in our shapes. Yeah. And we'll get some small ones as well. blue in our shapes. I'm going to just put a little bit of blue on there as well. <clears throat> and maybe introduce a different shape. And it's just the Liquitex blue, so that's it's like an ultramarine blue because it does have red in it. If you watch one of my other videos, you would have seen that we discovered that it had red in it when we tried to make a, um, a green that sort of went olivey. Okay, different shape. So let's make a simple circle shape. Like so. Just repeat that pattern. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Okay, so we've got a basic background. Now I'm going to use our um, Stabilo pencil. Uh, first, though, I want to place my birds. So you can see they really pop well on this background. Oops, I lost one. There we go. Okay, that's a bit too much the same, isn't it? I might do is put these two together up here. Mm. Nope, don't like that either. And this is where it takes time fiddling around, just auditioning things. So you get a nice flow. No, it's all too much of a straight line. Okay, I'm going to do it another way. What I'm going to do is draw my tree shape in and get the birds to fit into that. So, let's see. If you imagine like this is leaves, we could have branch coming up like that. A bit of volume. Like so. A branch out there. Another one. Down there like that. And maybe branches they always need to be wider at the bottom and then going out narrow the only tree actually that has branches that have the same volume the whole way out are gum trees it's a particular gum tree in Australia called a widow maker 
is because they have this same volume the whole way along their branch. They get really heavy and so they fall and like the name says, <laughs> they're widow makers. Um, I used to plant them around schools, which is not great. They've stopped doing that, thank goodness. All right, so I'll just add some little, little branches off the ends there as well. Just to get some texture. And then it sort of looks like these are leaves here. This is a blue leaf there. Another one there. Now, see how it's floating here? We want to get it so it's not floating off into space by itself. So that can be a, a tree trunk there. Make that a little wider. Now using this pencil, see how I've made a bit of a mistake there? That's okay because when I use my water, the stipulo pencil dissolves. And so that line there doesn't really matter. So we can make it darker on one side, give it a bit of volume, lighter in the middle. Take that out. Just dissolve that a little bit there. And the thing is, if you don't dissolve the pencil and you just leave it there, it can wipe off because the paints are plastic. But once you've dissolved it, it makes it a little bit more permanent. Okay. Let's just give in some texture to that branch. Very quickly, very simply, using a Stabilo pencil. Let's put a little bit more water on this so I can get some more texture. We can flick it paint up and flick like so get a bit of texture we would a bit more pencil lines there and a little bit more structure and like that Got a loose tree. And I'll just give it a paper towel. And where it pulls, we can always just blot that up like so. And wipe it off if it's in the wrong spot. Like so. So let's grab our, our birds again. and place these. Now we've got a bit of structure for them to hang on to. Go like that. This little dude up there. Another little dude up there. And that's all. I <laughs> made it all even again. Oh dear, hang on. Okay. This little dude up there. There we go. Okay. Now it's just a matter of gluing those down, giving our page a title or doing some journaling and we're done. I'm just going to use soft gel mat, a bit of paintbrush, you can use a palette knife if you like. I'll just get some paint. Sorry, some soft gel mat on the back of those. This paper is quite thin, so it does curl. Um, there we go, and then we can draw the legs onto the birds when they're all dry. Okay, so I wanted to show you, and this one I drew with the Stabilo pencil, and as you saw, 
in this part that we did it dissolves in liquid uh, so when I'm sticking this down you can see I'm picking up a bit of that black so just be aware of that that um, you know that's going to happen um, I quite like it I'm using it as a design feature that's fine just spreading that color out a little bit just to get a bit of texture around that bird but if you don't want that um, a simple way to deal with it is that you can just wipe it off with a baby wipe and you don't have to worry about that black at all okay and I'm just going to loosely draw around these with the Stabilo pencil just to give a bit of texture just be aware that if you're doing this like I am while it's wet your paper's pretty vulnerable so just be really gentle with it so that you don't um, mark and rip your papers basically okay this guy can have a few feet here holding under the branch can't see his feet this guy's got one foot there foot there that branch a bit bigger for him to stand on. And just go around all like that. <clears throat> just to get a little bit more definition and to draw the legs on. So drawing the legs is pretty simple. It's just three lines. Like so. And then again if you want to smudge that pencil out it's pretty easy to do um, with a bit of the soft gel gloss so, so sorry soft gel mat and it'll just make it permanent like so Let's get a bit, of, a bit of texture on those birds definition makes them more part of the picture because we've used the Stabello pencil here and it makes those birds look more sort of in the picture. Now a word, I have to think about it for a minute I think. So I've just said on the word tranquility. this into a triadic color scheme which was our blue violet the yellow green and red orange so what I'm going to do is just use one of these paint pens and it's an acrylic paint pen they do take a long time to prime so you need to hold them down don't think they that run out when you get them you actually have to prime this nib first so I'm just going to add a little bit of our red orange just into the tree just to give, oh, well, to finish our triadic colour scheme and bring that colour in. I mean, you could just do this with your paints as well. Just a few lines there. A couple out here as well. There we go. So, there we finished our jelly plate prints using them as cutouts in our art journal page now if you don't have a stencil like this you can cut out circles or squares and still use this color scheme to make a beautiful art journal page thanks for watching I hope this got your art started for the links to my website they're in the description box down below uh, there's free art classes there and free art downloads Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye now.